sunny St. George is a hot spot for President's Day weekend, and today we are helping you fill up the family bucket list. Marika Habrell from St. George for Kids is joining me through the screen to share some of the local favorites, which we hope no one will be mad at you for sharing and telling, but these are fun places <laughs> to visit and try. Yes, yes, I think so at least. All right, <laughs> a lot of us right now dreaming for some vitamin D. Is it warm enough there yet to get outside? It will be. It snowed on Tuesday night, so we're hoping that the cold weather goes away okay. and it will be nice and sunny and warm, uh, but the, the forecast looks good so far, so good. it should be nice and warm for everybody. Good. Well Love an inside source. So let's jump into your list. Yeah. First, the Parade of Homes is happening, which is an easy magnet for a lot of people. Yes, that was one of our favorites. Um, Parade of Homes goes from, uh, it starts on Friday the 17th, goes until the 26th. Uh, there's about 30 homes this year. Um, tickets are about $20 per person. Kids three and older have to have a ticket. And then you can see the homes from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Awesome homes to see this year. Um, you can go on their app and check them out. Um, just incredible um, interior design, landscaping, anything you want to see, they have it. There's a downtown farmer's market you're pointing us to as well. Yes, they used to be located at Ancestor Square, but have recently re relocated to um, Vernon Northern Park, which is just pretty central to St. George. It's a lot bigger, a lot better. They have done an incredible job with it. I would spend Saturday there if you can. It's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I love a good farmer's market, seeing the foods and the crafts and the artisan. That sounds like a lot of fun. A, a, a day right there sounds just right. Uh, talk to me about an art show coming up as well. Yeah, so they have one in Kianta. They have a bigger one in April. This one's more low scale, low key, um, but they'll have a lot of art galleries. Um, local artists will be there. They also have some entertainment that you can just go outside, see the pretty views out in Kianta. If you've never been, it's a beautiful place. It, um, so lots of different things to see there. It feels like a transport. Like, I feel like every time I've been there, I feel like you've just been plucked out of where you are yes. and put into some landscape painting. It's beautiful. Yes, absolutely. All right. Whoever named this festival, I want to shake their hand and give them a hug. The Balloons and Tunes? <laughs> yes, that one's out in Kanab. If you get to St. George and you're like, there are too many people here, let's get out. Drive an hour and a half away to Kanab. They'll have things from Saturday, or Friday to Sunday. Um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday mornings, they'll do a balloon launch. It's beautiful. I've heard there's over 40 hot air balloons this year. It's just on the golf course there. And then they'll have uh, lo local vendors and food trucks, a lot of different things to do during the day, live entertainment. Um, and then at night, they'll do a lantern festival. Yeah, those which nice I've heard shots looked amazing. Yeah, I've heard it's beautiful. So if you, if you feel like you want to go down there, I highly recommend it. It, it sounds right. so fun. 30 seconds left. Before you say goodbye, give us somewhere to eat. Uh, my favorite place to eat is Durango's. If you've never been there before, it's a lot like Costa Media Cafe Rio, um, but it's not a chain and it's more, it's local. Uh, our favorite thing to get is the quesadilla meal because my kids will eat it. I will eat it. It's delicious. Um, so if you've never been, I would recommend going there. Well, thank you for giving us this St. George bucket list, whether it be this weekend or maybe in the months to come. We're excited to live like the locals do. Marika, where can we get more <laughs> ideas from you? Uh, my main source is my Instagram page. It's St. George underscore kids. Uh, that's where I post a lot of my content. I'm also on Facebook as St. George for kids. And then I have a website that I'm starting to build up a lot more, St. Good. George Utah kids. Well, last um, time so we either were there, of those you can go. Okay, last time we were there, you helped us out with some great hikes. So thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate it. That's great. Yay. <laughs> All right. Nice job.